we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 216. Here we no. are. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> did you all know, I did not know this, there are oryx that live in the wild oryx eye or oryxes i don't know i should have just or said oryx. oryx in new mexico there's one small area where they introduced them years ago and there's oryx in the united states i thought that was amazing that's all i know over and, and over. why we're talking about oryx is because of the upcoming safari next yes. year's shh, safari shh. Don't give the month away. She's all about. She can't see the month. She's telling me to be quiet this YouTube. In May of this year, am I allowed? What's going on in May? <laughs> Is the H and H? Oh yes, yes. Uh, we're doing a wholesale uh, vendor <clears throat> thing in in Chicago, which we are yes, going we to are. wholesale the needle felting kits. This is kind of, we should have had this boom, because but you were so worried I was revealing a date. <laughs> because this is kind of, okay, we should do a little state of the union address for the Gnome Schoolhouse for all of our YouTube people. Okay. You look terrified. I usually am. <laughs> Anyway, um, because this H and H um, vendor show that we're going to, it's an actual whole. It's in Chicago. It's a wholesale vendor show. It's it's kind of a big deal. The booth was extremely expensive, and it was a commitment that we um, talked with our staff over first that we could. That's a lie. That we talked to our well. <laughs> Before this YouTube, we talked to our staff about this. Well, we meant to talk to our staff before this because our staff, oh my goodness, our staff down in the mill, oh, they work so hard. They, it's, truly, they, oh my goodness, we, they, they're amazing. They're absolutely, that's all we can say. They're absolutely amazing. And we, <clears throat> we didn't want to scare them, so we, or, uh, uh, be, <laughs> but we did. <laughs> because doing this wholesale, we're not wholesaling all of our products. We're wholesaling some of our, some ex exclusive products that we're going to try on the wholesale market because of this State of the Union address we're about to give you right now. Um, <clears throat> We, Teresa and I were at, that's why I'm still in my dressy apparel. See, I have, I have a collared shirt on and I still have my coat on. I've been on all day because the event center we were at was, was freezing. freezing in there for some reason. And they didn't, uh, anyway, we won't go on with that. But anyway. they didn't take care of us like they should. No, they just didn't. They had uncomfortable seating. That we fled off of. They didn't have coffee till the second break. And no and water on our table. Oh, anyway. Where were we? Oh, the State of the Union. Okay, so we were at this leadership training. In an inferior event center. In an inferior <laughs> event center. <laughs> and, um... We we paid money to go to this, and there there was other entrepreneurs such as Teresa and myself, right, and business owners and so on and so forth that had fifteen minute increments and they and they would speak and 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 kind of giving the the room which was about two hundred people um, 
leadership advice. Their best leadership advice was, I think, their goal there. And oh my goodness, every single one of them. It, it, one of them said, you're going to have no work-life work -life balance. Don't worry about it. You're just not going to have a work-life balance. Don't even try to. And the other one said, you have to put your work clothes on when you go to work and when you come home and you take them off and you leave them there. Um, and <laughs> the one thing that both Teresa and I uh, hit home with was one of them said, you're going to leave your 40 hour a week job to enter an 80 hour a week job, which honestly, it's more like 160 hour. Well, honestly, when you take on your own business and entre as an op entrepreneur, it's, it's your life, especially for the first I don't know, two, three, four, five years. I don't it's, know, I've been at it since 2008. Yeah, me too. No, 2010 for me. It's, and it's been nonsense. It's everything. It's, it's, it's your life. And it's your passion. And that's why you're doing it. And, and to say you can just come home and hang it up and, and be done with it. I mean, you might as well work for someone else for 9 to 5 if that's, if that's what you want, in my opinion. Because you just can't turn it off like that. Mm. I mean, if, I mean, you're going to talk about it. You're going to think about it. You're going to be online. You're going to be looking at this, that, and the next thing. You're going to be, I mean, it's, it's, it's just, plus you're working. I mean, you're just, you just work a lot. You have to work a lot. And, and there's times you won't get paid. There's, there's times you'll be paying your employees more than what you make. And, and it, it's just all relative to starting a new business and and it's tough and we're kind of Teresa and I right now are kind of yeah granted we had a grand opening on July 1st of 2021 mm -hmm. and and then we've been making interest only payments for till three months ago we were quoted 2% and 1% interest and then we, we went to sign the note. It was 6.79% interest. Remember that? And we had to sign it. And then we had all these closing costs, all these back interest fees. It's just been really tough. These last three months have been really tough. And mm -hmm. trying to figure out how we're going to make the payments. Yep. In the last three months, we've had our payment um, come due full force. And um, prior to that, we were just making interest only, only payments. So here we are. And <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what I can say and can't say. It's tough being an entrepreneurial, starting a new business. The, the one thing that we took away from every single leader, every single one of those folks that started a new business was how tough it is. How if you don't have the grit, if you don't have, if, if you don't want to be tired, if, 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 you, if you don't want to work 160 hours a week, don't do it. Stay working for someone else for 40 hours a week that you can leave and go home and don't do it. And we, here we are. We have been led into into renovating this schoolhouse and it is amazing it's absolutely beautiful sometimes i can't believe we actually did it mm -hmm. i mean we look back at pictures and it's oh my goodness it was really bad <laughs> i mean it was not good shape when we came in here it was it was oh, dumb it was bad it was bad it's amazing now it's absolutely amazing, and the folks that come here, and the and the affirmation we've heard that supports that, it's it's all it's all so positive. It's, it is. It's very heartwarming, but mm -hmm. it doesn't you know help us with making the payments, and mm -hmm. I don't and know. the last it's just three been months, these yeah. last three months have been tough. I'm um, difficult just trying to figure out how we're going to make the payments, what changes we made we need to do, what we need to implement. How much harder we can work? Can we hire more people? <laughs> Which and, takes money is in, in itself. Right. And 
uh, a lot of decisions uh, mm -hmm. we've been trying to make and just to make sure that we can continue uh, doing this thing that we love and making our dream mm -hmm. um, continue. Uh, in this last month, we had uh, my needle felding safari, which was a dream come true. Everything that we had hoped for this building, uh, what it would do, bringing people from all over the United States to the Gnome Schoolhouse, uh, a delicious food, beautiful place to stay, wonderful rooms, uh, beautiful atmosphere, uh, the, Amazing teacher. <laughs> the um, the staff here uh, is amazing. Everything that we had dreamed, mm -hmm. uh, we just need to um, know going forward that we can continue this, keep yeah. this up. It's just been a little bit mm -hmm. difficult. It, it, it's tough. We don't <laughs> to know. You know, and, and it's it, it's kind of word of mouth, and everyone that comes. I mean, we hear it time and time again. It's, it, it's nothing like when you walk in the doors, like what you saw online or what you saw on the website. Or even what you heard. Or what you videos. heard until you walk in the doors and walk up those steps. It's, it's a piece that trans... I mean, it, it, it's nothing we can explain in words or pictures or video. I mean, you have to come and experience it. And we've said that over and over again. And I think the folks that have come here and stayed here can attest to that. And it's it's just something pretty special here. And we know we have a niche market with our Fiber Arts Retreat Center. And, and we know we need to get the word out throughout the United States, globally. And, and that's what we're, we're, we're now, we're, we're, we're taking our focus off of our local advertising, so to speak, and, and trying to figure out how to reach the global, the United States, I mean, to get folks here from all over, which is the dream, which is what we set out to do when we did mm -hmm. this entire thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, these past couple years, we have spent you know, just, you know, going with, oh, you know, this person thinks we should do this, so we kind of go off with that, and then we go off with this, and there's just so many different ideas people have for us. And they're all, they all they're mean all, well. Yes, they, they do. They all just want us to succeed. In. Yes, and yeah. we just need to go back to what our dream is. Our dream was to make it a destination for fiber arts enthusiasts, for makers of all things, for a place to come hang out, make things, make learn new mecca. things, <laughs> mm -hmm. and <clears throat> just learn about fiber arts in a unique way. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, applied for a grant that we're hoping to get to bring the animals, fix the barn, mm -hmm. and bring all of that um, yep, we have secured, to the gnome school. Yeah, we have secured the funding for the fencing and whatnot, but we need the infrastructure to get the, the water and the, and the other things. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So, and so, I mean, mm -hmm. that is going to be our focus. Our focus is on um, not only the wholesaling of things to make money. Which is what, why we've taken that next step by going to this wholesale market. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also mm -hmm. doing more events so that we can get the mm -hmm. word out. Uh, we mm -hmm. feel like us uh, going out and talking with people is the best way to get the word out as well as this YouTube So if you ever feel like sharing these YouTubes and sharing what we're doing here at the Gnome Schoolhouse, that would be much appreciated uh, and then the wholesaling and the uh, we're going to Convergence in uh, Kansas in yes. July yes. Uh, That's this, exciting. <clears throat> this h, h Americas is in um, May mm -hmm right after Lamy. Yep. Um, and so, that's in Chicago. Yes. But that's a wholesale market. So prior to that, if if you know your local craft store, yarn store, what have you, we do wholesale the kits. We do. Yes. Yes. And also let them mm -hmm. know that mm -hmm. we are an amazing place to come uh, for yes. a craft retreat. If yes. they are teaching classes, we uh, are always looking for teachers. Mm -hmm. If they want to plan their own retreat, uh, we will arrange that for them, mm -hmm. and uh, this is just the perfect place to come and relax, even in the winter time. 
absolutely people mm -hmm. all the time are you open all year round they think we are only open from memorial day to labor day and no 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 that's absolutely not the case we we are hopping here october november december january february march yeah it's the best place to be in the winter time and this is gonna be a mild is. winter and it is because we had a doozy of one last week last, last week, week. It seems you can like last believe week. last week's winter. <laughs> but last year, so it'll be good. Even though it was a doozy, there still was no better place to be than here. Right, if you had to be stormed in someplace, oh, good grief. we would take care of oh, you. Oh, oh. If you flew in here and were stuck here, you'd be happy. And we would take very good care of you. Right. You can ask anyone who has stayed with us to attest to that. You know, maybe one of these next YouTubes, we should go and read the journals that are mm -hmm. in the rooms. That'd be kind of fun. Yes. See, see, what, see what you all say what, that have stayed here. Because mm -hmm. it's been a, about a year or more since we've done that. Because the last time we crawled out onto the roof, I believe, Illegally, Shh, we didn't do that. Don't, we might, no, it's not allowed. We might here have at the wanted to crawl out under the roof and read them, but <laughs> it's not allowed. No, not allowed. Mm -mm. Definitely not. Not. Not allowed. Mm -mm. So we had a few questions on last week's YouTube. Mm -hmm. So I can't read that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, were there animals on site and no one coming? And there were not. We had every intention of bringing um, some sheep here. But being... It was it, raining. It, it was forecasted rain all day. That it just rained. It poured. Not, and it, it did. It literally blew. rained all day. It was not a nice day. It's so, kind of ridiculous. Ah, no, no, no animals here. So mm -hmm. have you ever seen... Wet felting done with crochet. And that was one of the questions. And and I know Carla, who works down in the mill, she does, oh, she crochets the beautiful little um, washcloths um, that, that we sell in the, in, in the store. And she does a lot of crochet, of course. And I know she commented on this question that, oh, that would be cool. And we'd really like to see that too. Maybe Carla, maybe we should have her give her some wool yarn, crochet something like a hat or a pair of mittens, and we can... It would definitely felt beautifully. Felt it sure should, yeah. I've made mittens. Um, by ditching and, them, right? And knitting them and, mm -hmm. and wet felting them, mm -hmm. as well as slippers. And crochet should be no different. Yeah. It should be the very same thing yeah. with our wool yarn. Yay! <clears throat> I'll oh, and take this next one. Okay, <sighs> so... When we, the first, we, our question last week was when the first time we set foot in the school, was it legally? Oh. Mm -hmm. we, <laughs> we approached the school. From the front. We did. And. No entrance. We didn't enter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then we walked around the school and the back door was wide, wide open. Wide open. So we entered. So we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Legally or not legally, we're not quite sure. So how about making wreaths with the broom corn? Thoughts? That would be fun. It would be cute. Okay. Maybe next YouTube we could make. That could be a project. Okay. We'll make a wreath with broom corn. Because I we haven't harvested any of the broom corn out that we grow right outside of the from the school here because we wanted it. Because it's still up. green and it's still green and it's still growing and <clears throat> as it changes the heads change to different colors like the deep reds or the blacks and and they were all green and now some of them are orange so yeah they're still growing because they were um, quite a bit behind what was planted in Mariella's place. <laughs> Yeah, so, so yeah, mm -hmm. we would love to do that. Yeah, we'll have to do that. That would be fun. That would be a great thing to do. So, and last week, um, the new sheep that we purchased, we released them with the rest of the ewes. Do you have videos of this? I do. Popping up. It was very exciting for them. I bet it was. Were they happy? They were happy. Did they integrate well? There was a lot of talk. Talk. Anybody? 
Oh, no bunny. Good. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. But it's, it was getting very dry, and mm. we are actually having to give the sheep bales out there now because oh. there's not enough grass. Well, even, now that we got the rain, rotation, it'll probably. But it's really not really. This is the time of oh, year where it doesn't true. seem to just pick up and grow. Come so mm -hmm. uh, this week, tomorrow, in fact, we're going to wean the lambs, mm. which is, I don't know, I kind of enjoy it because it's, I get to see them mm -hmm. and I get to see, you know, how well they've grown. And I bet yeah. the ewes are like, Whoosh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because breeding soon. So. How long do you? But so it's like November. Oh, so you get them what, like a month, pull the lambs, and then they get We them wanted out. to wean them sooner, but we didn't have their fence for any. Oh, yeah. So the lambs, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we had to refence that whole area. All the fence posts were rotting, and mm -hmm. it was a mess, and they were getting mm -hmm. out all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's we all been it. redone. And then Jeff has done an amazing job on the working corral part mm. which I, would be amazing if you could see it with the drone mm. we'll see Casey has a drone he does but he's busy during oh, harvest yeah, 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 but yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's done an amazing job and it's going to work so slick nice. when we work them so nice. if I if I can try and get it on video but a drone would be test mm -hmm. so mm. uh, last week's <coughs> question was I think we said it, right? What was the first date we set foot in the school? Oh, no, we didn't say, we did not say the answer. So last week's question was, what was the first date you set foot in the school? And it was October 4th of 2018. And we oh had God. just looked at the school in Sheldon. And we had learned that it was not the school of our dreams. Mm -hmm. It was way too expensive. And we were kind of disappointed. And probably not structurally so. Right. And I just mentioned, let's, there's a school in Nome that I think might still be there. I don't know, but I remember seeing it. And can we just drive over there? It's not very it's far so away. Why is so far from me? And, <laughs> and plus it was storming. I mean, it was like it was snowing. It was snowing. And we so thought. So hard. Maybe we shouldn't do this, but we did. Crazy uh, women that we are. <laughs> and we came over to the school and mm -hmm. we drove up to it and you couldn't see it. And then so we walked through the trees and we did see it. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful as I had thought. And we walked around to the back and walked through it. And when you first walked in, we were both like, <laughs> Ooh, maybe not. Worse <laughs> than is Sheldon. Is bad. Yeah. And then when, <clears throat> the further we walked, the more we liked. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was October 4th of 2018. And Christina Bourne, you are the winner. You just need to contact us uh, on our contact form at bearcreefelting.com. Tell us your shirt size and we'll send you a prize. And next week's question is what month is the Oryx Safari. Do, 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 do. Answer below. We have, we down if you're on your phone. <laughs> and we have lots of upcoming classes in we which do. Chris is going to we crawl do. under the table right now and I get can't read <laughs> what they are because she said as she can't threw it over the front of Hold this on. table, she said, Oh, don't worry. I will get that. Get Did that. she? No. Nope. Oh. So she's working on that now. <laughs> I'm getting it. I can't get it. You're going to have to get up. <laughs> I can maybe, f I can fit behind you. Can't you throw yourself under there? No, I'm too big. Uh, here there we, we go. go. Many upcoming classes. The Inkle Loom Weaving on October 13th is full. Uh, dyeing Fiber class on fi Fiber. Fiber. Friday, October 13th uh, is, still have openings. Uh, the Spinning Shocking. on a Spinning Wheel on October 14th is full. Is it really? It is. Oh, nice. The 3D Wet Felting <clears throat> on October 14th still has openings. Shocking. You don't want to miss out on any of these. Either of those are gone. 
that aren't full, oh my goodness. They're Sweet. amazing classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the wet felting class, you will make a little vessel. I don't know if you can see these pictures, but there. if you go to university.org, you'll see these amazing pictures. This is what they made last time. So cute. They were mm -hmm. adorable. Mm -hmm. These are the best teachers. You can't go wrong. At Yay. the Whimsical Blooms Highland Cow with Sunflower Wreath, October 20th. There are still openings. That's... Um, or Saturday. Or Saturday, October 21st. They're both evenings you can take this class. Nice. There's still room in those. But I know mm -hmm. there's been a lot. I've seen them... Coming through. They keep Ooh. coming through. I know there's openings in each one of them so far, but they have to be getting close. Mm -hmm. There's a fall landscaping landscape retreat. Uh, that's October 21st. That looks like a beautiful painting. It does. Acrylic painting class. Uh, fall harvest delight with that's cool. uh, Deb Peary. They're all with Deb Peary, of course. And that, that's October 22nd. Uh, and then here is the Fall into Felting Retreat with Jean Hainlin, which is full. We do have one coming up in February. I am just getting the details on that. So if you go to gnomeschoolhouse.com, you can see the details <coughs> on that hopefully very soon. The basket weaving class, which I didn't even get in this little booklet, and it's already full because they're just, they're just amazing classes. It. And then we have the Taste of Fiber Retreat with Julie Magnall and Jeannie Roster. That is Saturday, November 2nd through the 4th. That is also amazing class. Is there room in that? I'm shocked if there's room in that. Uh, it, I have seen um, people signing up for that, but I do think there's places, spots huh? available yet. And then we have the Safari Retreats next year. And we're adding more very soon. There will be a I room been, class. Right. In our, uh, we don't have a pick today. Yeah. We're hoping the end of, we're looking forward to the end of October. So. so save all the dates in October just in case. Just in case. The broom. Yeah. With yours truly. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been contacting a lot of other teachers. Mm -hmm. And we are working on setting dates in 2024. Mm -hmm. So we are hoping to release them all uh, very soon. All yes. these uh, upcoming classes in 2024. Yes. Which we have a lot of new teachers as well as teacher, you know, mm -hmm. popular yep. teachers that we already have. Mm -hmm. As well as more, teacher, more teachers, more classes with myself and Chris. Mm -hmm. So we're excited Absolutely. to get them. Uh, and did. please feel free to comment in the sections below any additional classes that you would like to see Teresa or I offer for you. Yeah, we're always, always looking for ideas. Always looking for ideas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all of these classes that I talked about, you can get, you can find all of that information at university.org. Uh, classes coming up in 2024. There's only a couple listed right now, but more will be listed. Uh, you mm -hmm. can find that at gnomeschoolhouse.com under We're events. Transitioning over. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that is about all we have. Uh, yeah. It's a busy week here at the Gnome Schoolhouse. We because have, there's a wedding. There's a wedding on of Sunday. somebody's son. Yes. Yeah, so I'm mm -hmm. trying Pretty to cool. make editing. Which is minimal. in. Oh my goodness. Three days, well, three days well, away. It'll be is tomorrow. The, oh my goodness, it's the, <laughs> whoa, that's really coming quick. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So prayers for for Tori and Lane, and they're, they're starting their new lives together. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, that would be awesome. I would yeah, appreciate that. Absolutely, and, and thank you all. Thank you all for praying for us, supporting us, and <clears throat> and, and, and we need prayers for, for the upcoming. Um, the Lord's been providing manna from heaven, and it, it's all good. And he has a plan, and he led us where we are today. So we just have to, have to keep our blinders on, our focus on, and um, keep following our shepherd. So. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We wouldn't be where we are without you guys. No, not at all. Thank you so much. <laughs>